Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Cosmic Culture, the channel where we talk all things major movie and television news, theories, breakdowns, and much, much more. I'm your host, Chris, and with the continued rise in excitement for the Game of Thrones universe due to the currently ongoing first season of House of Dragon, the first spin-off series for the Game of Thrones series on HBO, we're going to talk today about all of the spin-off series currently in development, what we can expect, and what some of the rumors are saying about the future for this Game of Thrones universe that really has become so massive, even though they only have one entire series out. So, let's talk about what's to come in the future for Game of Thrones. If you haven't already, consider subscribing and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our other major movie and television news updates happening daily here on the channel. You can also follow me on my other socials, Instagram at Chris M. Rosser and Twitter at the Culture Chris. Links to both of those are in the description down below. Okay, so to start off this video, you can let me know two things. One, did you watch and love Game of Thrones originally? And two, have you been following House of Dragon? Now, if you have been, if you've been watching Game of Thrones since forever ago, watching them as they were releasing, however you have gotten into them, odds are you really, really enjoyed it. Pretty much everybody did. Now, I know there's the exception, and that's fine, but House of Dragon, if you haven't already gotten into it, picks up exactly where Game of Thrones feels like it should be. And I mean that more of a feeling than actually anything else. This series feels like Game of Thrones, which I think is one of the most important elements when you are creating spin-off series. It's kind of the issue that Star Wars had when they created the prequels, and then when they created the sequels, there were a lot of issues with, hmm, this doesn't always feel like Star Wars. It wasn't really until we got to Rogue One, or even some of the new series like The Mandalorian and Andor, now that that's come out, where it felt like a continuation of Star Wars. These are some important details. And with House of Dragon, it does feel like a continuation of Game of Thrones, and I'm really excited for that. But we're not here to talk only about House of Dragon today. We're here to talk about the future of the Game of Thrones universe. So let's get into it. Here's what we are very sure they're currently working on over at HBO for Game of Thrones. First, a Jon Snow series. What we know is Kit Harington is set to reprise his role and it is currently an untitled spin-off. We also know that Harrington pitched the concept for the entire series himself, and the understanding is that this will be him north of the wall. So we'd get an entire spin-off of Jon Snow, who, if you watched the Game of Thrones series, was absolutely a fan favorite. What exactly he would be up to up there? Well, it would probably have something to do with wildlings, maybe organization, maybe he'll even go off and become the ruler of them because he lost out on an opportunity elsewhere. The next one we know in development is actually a prequel series for House of the Dragon, and this is called The Sea Snake. The series follows Corlys Valerian as he earns his reputation through his infamous adventures as a naval warrior. So we know a little bit about this character thanks to House of the Dragon, and we even got to see a little bit of him and his people in action during a massive war that we get to see firsthand happening early on in House of the Dragon Season 1. So it will be very interesting to see where all the naval end of Game of Thrones really takes us. Westeros, the stories of how some people gained their valor and ended up at the table of the king, of Westeros, which is exactly what we see in House of the Dragon. The next one we have is a project called 10,000 Ships. Now this one sounds very interesting, maybe for a lot of the same reasons that the last one did, and it's because it does cover a lot of the naval stories of Westeros. It's set a thousand years before the events of Game of Thrones, and will reportedly focus on a key figure within Westerosi legend, the founder of Dorne, Princess Nymeria. Now we've heard a lot about her recently in episodes 4, 5, and 6, House of the Dragon Season 1. And getting an entire spin-off series of this really awesome warrior queen will be an absolute treat, and it will dive even deeper into a lot of the lore or the Westerosi legend as they have it written out here for Game of Thrones. And that's something that this universe has that's very special that really started getting set up during the original series of Game of Thrones is all of that legend, all of that lore 
the myths, the songs, and they really can dive anywhere with it as long as they continue to make high quality, top notch series, people are going to love it. The House of the Dragon is so, so widely viewed and it is such a highly discussed topic for fans all over the world. So that's really, really awesome. And this is a series that would be really, really cool. This next one is one I also think, as I do with all of them, I suppose, would be very fun, and it's called A Knight of the Seven Kingdoms. Now, this one is set to follow the stories of Sir Duncan the Tall, also known as Dunk, and a young Aegon V Targaryen, known as Aeg, during their early adventures set only 90 years before the events of Game of Thrones. This would be something as well that has a lot of spoken about lore, from the original Game of Thrones series, and maybe even by the time we're done with House of Dragon, from House of the Dragon. So, a lot of cool connecting pieces that are going to require a lot of important maneuvering, but that isn't something we haven't seen. And not that I think Game of Thrones and the MCU are really related at all, they're very different ways of telling stories, very different types of audiences, even. However, we have seen throughout the entire Infinity Saga somebody spool an entire story with interconnecting movies and now they've added tv shows into it so it is something that's very possible when you create projects some that happened a long time ago some that are happening a little bit into the future from the main story it is very possible to take those precise details and make it just seem almost perfect so that's also important to be excited for this next one is a little odd and i've heard very little about it so i can't unfortunately provide many details but the next project we have is the golden empire animation so this would be an animation although the information that comes out of it seemingly will be part of the game of thrones canon and it says the golden empire would focus on the area of the game of thrones map that serves as a loose parallel to imperial china so that's what we have for that i'm sure somebody who's read a book somewhere can dive into all the details about that for me and will do in the comment section as you guys always will for me and uh, we can learn a little bit more about that, but that is an also upcoming project. It also seems like there will be more animated projects coming, and apparently George R.R. R. Martin, who's the author of all of this, has even said that they are stunningly beautiful. Now this next one is one you may not have heard of, but it's definitely interesting. It's called Tourney at Hall Broadway Play. This play is set during the Great Tourney at Harrenhal, a contest that took place just 16 years before the events in Game of Thrones. It will bring fan favorites like Ned Stark and Jaime Lannister back to life. And it would be a Broadway play, and probably a musical at that, so there will be some singing involved, and we'll see characters from the Game of Thrones series that everybody absolutely loved, and some tourney events from Harrenhal, which we hear referenced many, many times. Now, there are, of course, also tons of other series that have been teased. We have the series of some wildlings that has been teased. We have a series just about Ghost, Jon Snow's dog that has been teased, and many other spin-off opportunities, and I'm sure there are a lot out there. For those of you who have read the books, which I will 100% admit, I am not one of those people, I'm sure you have all of the ideas already mapped out in your own minds. However, for people who have strictly watched the series and are currently watching House of Dragon, there's a lot to be excited for that you don't know the answers to, which I also think in turn is a lot of fun as well. But you let me know which of these projects you're most excited for, or what projects you hope that they will bring in the comment section down below. As always, thank you to everybody who watched the very end of the video. If you found it helpful, useful, or entertaining, consider subscribing and turning on that notification bell, and I'll catch all of you guys on the next one right here on Cosmic Culture.